welcome back to American Truck Simulator. This is David Steele, here's me truck, and uh, today we are celebrating something. We're celebrating 300 subscribers and... We're gonna try an almost a thousand mile trip this is going to be an interesting beast in a 2000 odd horsepower Kenworth. Um, a couple of concessions. Um, first things first, I've kept my Whirlpool original um, truck settings. So ABS is turned off, crash control is turned off, stability is 50%, trailer stability is also 50%, which means there's lots of body roll. Traffic is set at one quarter, so 0.25. And as well as the modified, ludicrously powered engine, it's based on a C3406E. You also have a tall gearbox, which in theory should let us do about 150 miles an hour if we can find a long enough straight with no traffic in the way. Oh, well, as you can see, it's a little. It's a little wayward. I wanted to get fuel anyway, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get some fuel. Alright, what's our fuel condition? Oh, we're about half a tank. Um, now it's a thousand miles. I don't know if I'm going to do it in eight hours and something minutes, which is what I've got left on my clock before I'm supposed to take a break. But, um,. I'm not sure whether we, we will or not, but we'll we'll find out. Now, this engine is voiced today by Z Mods. I uh, do love a bit of 3406 uh, Z. I uh, also enjoy the the C16, but decided I'd stick with the 3406. It's a little spinny. I'm deliberately provoking that. Absolutely. Yeah, it picks up nicely. I've been practicing for a, an hour or so with the ludicrously high power truck. Um, I'm going to measure the, the time it takes me, not in real world time, but in in game time. So we'll look at the average and all that kind of stuff. Feather the throttle a little bit. Actually, I'll um, also show off my, my game uh, truck settings. So if you want to do the same, you absolutely can. Um, although you may want this engine, so, uh, oh, this is a pain. If I can, um, uh, can I get it this way? No trucks allowed. Well, there we go, they, they let me in, okay. That works. Clearly, we shouldn't drive like this um, in the real world. It's just the game. I'm using the transmission in automated mode for the most part because um, this is a bit of a handful. Go straight. <laughs> it's going to be great fun. All right, let's take a look. There's another trip to Gallup. Um, that's another hundred whoops, another hundred miles. Then we'll do that. I want to do this one. Nine at nine and nine miles. It reckons it's going to take sixteen hours and forty-two minutes. I don't think so. Somehow. Time to hit the road. Let's go ahead and take the job. But let me go into here, and we'll just scroll up and down. We'll scroll down through the uh, through the game settings. So things to note here. Random road events 33, detours 33, and rain 8%. Detours and random road events will ruin the ruin the trip, but I'm going to have to skip past them. That's okay. This is the real critical part here. I see a lot of these speed runs where truck stability is 100%, and trailer stability is 100%, and suspension stiffness is 100%, and cabin stiffness. And I'm not doing that. This thing is going to roly poly all over the all over the road. So, that's going to make my life harder. Alright, where's the cargo? This is all 
this is back here. This thing is really sensitive off, off the line. It has a lot of clutch engagement torque. Um, is that it? No. Where is it then? I must be the next the next one. Is there anything behind me? No. Okay. There we go. That looks like it. Alright. And I just ran into something, didn't I? I did. <laughs> Not a good start. Let's just verify my damage is set to be zero. I, I really need to turn the wheel more. Now I really don't want to crash and if I do it's going to ruin the speed run um, and I may end up just recording another one. We'll see. So headline figures for this engine, um, it's rated 2150 horsepower and uh, 7250 foot-pounds of torque. That is a lot. Oh, it matches the colour. Um, I just damaged something. There we go. I stalled it though. It's not good. So let's go ahead and connect that. Start that. Okay. Um, I think we're we're ready to go. So um, I would say start the clock, but it's already started. I gotta leave this place first. I wonder if I can leave the way it came out. Oh, well, I might have to go this way. Use the extra width. One of the hardest things with the W900. Is the steering is a little sluggish compared to the, the, the how quickly you you want to be going? Uh, I leave this place. It, was it down here on the right? So it's one way that way. All right. Finding new route. It's yeah. It's using eighth gear just to move me off. The transmission today is from the Eaton Fuller. Um, Real, sorry, real Ethan Fuller transmissions mod. This is the Enduran XD. That is the 18 speed um, with a 0.7 uh, top gear ratio. And I'm using a, a 239 final drive. So theoretically, at 2100 RPM at the engine governor, this thing can do 150, very close to 150 miles an hour. I have yet to reach 150. It's gotten close, but I haven't yet quite reached it. Right, let's go. Watch out for that curb there, of course. I turned off the automatic headlights. I didn't need those tonight. I may be running at main beam the most of the whole part. We'll see. We don't have a retarder on this transmission because that can make it a little hard to control. Even harder than it already is. Uh, it picks up nicely, even with 28,000 pounds behind me. Take the inside here. We're in top gear at 88 miles an hour. I'm going to lift off because I'm understeering around the corner. That was a little close. Oh, oh, oh. That was um, not a hospital, not a good start. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I may I may switch to manual because um, if you catch the gear, it, or if you mash the throttle, you'll downshift just 100 revs and then shift right back up, and you lose a lot of. You seem to lose a lot of time. This is very much the golden hour. So going to be driving through the night here. It's saying uh, 16 hours still. Okay. Texas has got some nice straight roads and with little traffic we should do okay. Gosh my voice is tired. So yeah, 300 subscribers. Who would have thought? Honestly, this channel feels very selfish. Um, I make content that I enjoy or would enjoy watching. Um, and I try to avoid making stuff Oh, Yep, I missed my almost missed my turn. I try and avoid following the whole fashion thing and doing what other people do. But it's hard because like 
1.49 gets released, the new version of American Truck Simulator or Kansas gets released, or the new farm equipment DLC, and I want to do videos about them. Believe me, right now I could be doing a Kansas video, but we're not. We're going through Houston at barreling speeds, because we can. I guess we... Cruising at 117, 119, 122 miles an hour. Bit of body roll there. Really don't want to roll. It's picking up beautifully. And if I can do twice the speed that it thinks I should be able to do, then I'll get there in eight hours, right? It's the theory. It's a nice straight bit of road. Straight enough. Construction coming up ahead though. So there's 140. Let's get back on the brakes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, I, 140 seems to be no problem, but 150, I have yet to reach that. Maybe tonight's the night. And I've already used a quarter tank of fuel, so uh, do I ease off a little bit? I'm not going to be stopping. Do I ease off a little bit to save a bit of fuel, or do I just keep the hammer down? I think we keep the hammer down. We know that this is not going to be an efficient trip. And I don't think that easing off is going to save me that much fuel. There's 140 again. And there's my exit. That was maybe excessively slowing down, but this is quite a tight corner. If I mash the throttle, I wonder if it'll downshift. Let's try it. Yep, it does. I may run out of water, but it's what's going to keep my voice from just failing. Okay. Back into three figures, that's what we like to see. Nope, I do not, Doug. Just turn the engine brake on so when I lift off completely it gives me a bit extra deceleration. Stick to the left here, turn off my main beam. It's 120, A bit of traffic up ahead, not too much. What I've got to be careful of is um, these cars or trucks pulling into this lane to overtake. That's 140 again. Back on the main beam. 143. Okay, come on. Getting close. So it's 2,000 revs and 147. Lift off. Oh, crap. Oh, dearie me. That's okay, we're, we're still on the round. Look at that! <laughs> Don't drink and drive, kids. Um, ooh, uh, yeah, that, um, that's not good to see on my trailer. 94% damage. Gosh, has I got a repair station? Oh yes, this one coming up. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we take this this road here. Oh, what happened there? Oh no, I know what happened there. <sighs> yeah, I've killed my truck. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to get myself towed to service, which at least will be the one close to me. It's Austin. Okay, <sighs> let's find a new route. Well, I'm going to keep on with this this trip. I think, you know, it's going to have killed my game time, but keep that's right. okay. So let's just see how badly are things. Uh, pretty badly. I'm not going to repair any, replace any wall components. Let's just go ahead and turn right. Let's just uh, go ahead. Come on, get me back in there. I've just repaired components rather than um, bothered replacing anything. 
I don't think I'd be wanting to replace a full engine anyway. Ooh, oh, just ran into a pickup. Not a good start. At least my engine temperature is still, um, well, it's a little high, but at least it's, it's still there. So I don't mind giving it full throttle immediately. Time-wise, um, yeah, we've we've um, started to see what the impact's been on my time last night. I'll just keep my head down. See if we can get up to 150. Hey, see, see what I mean? I was really close to 150 miles an hour, but no. I think it was 147 was the last I saw the speed, and then we crashed. So set my cruise at 150, I suppose. Let's see if we can get there. Turn on the engine brake so when we lift off it will um, trigger the engine brake and slow us down. I guess this is Austin. I don't think it's the straightest road. No. the traffic makes this a whole lot easier because um, it's the traffic that sort of gets in your way and causes you to either run into it or avoid it and crash. I managed to do that by myself. But okay. Here, yeah, great. See me coming and suddenly about my way. Break firmly into that corner there, which is not good for stability. And I do a bit of a knackered trailer. The oof. I, I guess I'm just dragging it along behind me with no no tires. Probably not going to get paid for this one either because um, dang. because my cargo is 35% damaged too. What is my cargo again? Clothes. Damage clothes. Well, I guess you rip rip open the, the containers. Right, let's just use the middle lane here. Nothing from either side. That's what we like to see. A little bit of the air horns as we go through. Back on the foot brake. There we go. Bit of body roll there, but that's all right. Keep the hammer down. Back on the main beam. Top at 105 that time. Yeah, it's um, I mean at 105 every corner seems to be really tight, which would make sense. At least it's more break early and get back on the power. There we go. Okay, and that, that helps. And I've just got the throttle mashed the whole way down. No subtlety, no refinement here, just head down, run with the ball, so to speak. What do I do here? Is he going to pull in front of me? Oh, I don't know what to do. We slow down. He's moving out my way. Good. Oh, I see that the lane closes, but I think I can near pass on the shoulder. Yep, and then into the left hand lane. Bit of a nervous feeling there. A bit of a tightening of the sphincter moment. Oh, one of my trucks is yellow. Okay, and almost to 150 again. Keep it tight, that's full right mark. It's a straight bit coming up, sort of. It's not, not a long straight, 104 crap. Ooh, ooh. Oof. On 
know. Ah, butt flaps. Did I get myself stuck? No, I'm not stuck. I don't think I'm stuck anyway. Okay, first first gear, and we're off. Let's just use this carriage away, it's fine. Damage anything? No. Substantial end vehicle wear, consider visiting service. Alright. Well. I don't know what's worn out. <laughs> Let me think. Yeah, that's cost me a little bit of time, but um, I didn't wreck. Completely destroyed my truck, so it's actually okay. I'm going to turn off the engine brake, I think, right now. Yes, I know. Find me because I'm going the wrong way. It's okay. I will get back on the other carriageway as soon as I can. Besides, it's not one truck going the wrong way. It's all of them. So I probably could have... I've gone across there, but I chose not to. I just can't see well enough. Yep, I think I'm good. Good here. Seriously? What the heck happened there? Well, I guess I'm not good there. Yeah, and I damaged a bunch of stuff. 21% damage, okay. Visit service immediately. Well, I don't know what I broke, but I guess the engine's down on power. My gearbox still seems okay. And okay, let's tap resume on cruising it back up to 150. Oh, we're actually veering a little bit. Yeah, we're not we're not tracking true. Okay. What I mean by that is um, when I have no steering input, it's veering ever so slightly to the right. Oh, it's okay. Maybe it's just the road. Okay, so, so far, I have driven like a bat out of hell, and um, it's it's really hurt my, my, my crashiness. So, do I need to not drive so, so hard? Yeah, so probably don't need to drive so hard. Need to be a little bit more sensible about my speed, maybe. Let's maybe cruise at 115 then, through these twisty bits. It's still fairly fast. Still 25 miles an hour of the speed limit. But I'm not constantly seeking 150. And it's nearly trekking around this corner without big issues. Okay, maybe not. Alright, it's back on reserve. Alright, I mean that was, that was definitely better. And low fuel lines come on, but okay. How much fuel do I have left? Let's have a quick look. Used 2.3 per gallon so far. But I've covered 800 miles, so, well, no. No, I didn't reset the trip computer, okay. Average speed 83. Yeah. 33 gallons, 32 gallons left, and it's. I'm not going to get 237 miles. Good grief. I'm using it quite quickly. Um, got a bad feeling about my fuel consumption here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, we'll stick with it for now. We're coming up to a fuel stop. Yes, I think we might be. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, cruising at 115 seems just crazy, but it is. What's my uh, miles per gallon this figure? Well, it's still showing us high, but it's got up to 2.4. So we, 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 our instantaneous consumption is higher miles per gallon than 2.4. But um, that's not really very good. If I wish to get there in without um, 
running out of motion motion. Uh, is there any fuel coming up? Well, there will be at this next next village, town, city, even. Let's coast for a bit. Maybe tap resume at like 90 or 95. Let's go with 100. Still pretty high. Okay. Now what I'm let's go back here. The the bar shows my instantaneous fuel fuel consumption. Um, which is pretty high, but we, we kind of expect it to be high instantaneously because honking great powerful engine, all that talk, it's gonna burn it. But let's see if we can find somewhere to fill up. Only have a 260 gallon tank, and if I'm going to get two and a half miles per gallon, that's 500 miles, and I'm out. I wouldn't have thought that mileage would be a real. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, the truck stop just up here. So, um, oh, 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 look, run into the back of him, and I can get, I get the truck fixed as well. Which I clearly do because it's not steering very well. Can't think why. It's a bit down on power as well. Right. It's really not steering very well. area and we'll bump up with the curbs okay. if I can get through and I hope I can get through and I don't think I can oh yes I can there we go perfect okay not exactly the cleanest way to um, get to the fuel station but clean enough So as you can see, diesel is 567 gallons and 81 cents per, sorry, 567 dollars and 81 cents per gallon, but I'm running a extremely high fuel cost mod to try and even out um, the game just a little, or the, the economy just a little bit. I am paying a lot of money. I have not many gallons left. Okay. I don't think I'm going to make that, so we will uh, back out this way. Controls. The controller is right underneath the microphone, so it's making lots of noise. And I'm sorry about that, but yeah, we're getting massive understeer. Okay, can we fix anything other than no? We really can't. Uh, all right, well, let's fix everything. Let's get back on the road. I think I can leave down here. I can jump, if, if not, I can jump the curb. Oh, there we go. It's an exit. Okay. Skip the full lock. Okay. There we go. Okay, so according to my dashboard, I have seven hours to drive, and I'm going to need to sleep in two hours. Two hours and seven minutes. So I'm going to be running late in terms of my shift, which which I already know. That's there we go. That's the first yawn. Um, so I already know that I'm going to be uh, over my shift. But that's okay. It's not okay. I'm going to get fined. But um, as long as we don't start to fall asleep at the wheel, we'll, we'll, we'll be good. It's waking everyone up by using the engine brake in a very unprofessional manner. Thankfully truckers don't drive like this. Alright, 
So we're going to turn left and go up the on ramp. So let's turn left. Back on there. Breaking that. Bit of wheel spin. And we're off. Alright, set my cruise at 125. And we'll see one if we can get to that speed. And two how how well we can actually cruise at that speed. So there's someone coming up uh, behind me, but I think he'll be well clear. Yeah, I can't I can't see him if I look up at my shoulder, so we're good. I'd love to do twice the speed limit, 160, but one, I know I will be able to reach it, and two, it will probably crash. I will probably crash if I try. So hey, I'd be happy with cruising at 125. We should be able to get the truck to that speed. That's a corner than I thought. Let's try 110, okay. Substantial engine wear. Yeah, it's because I've worn out the, the cabin through hitting things. So it ever so ever so slightly tips into oversteer when well. I don't pay attention. It ever so slightly tips into oversteer. If I lift off the power and then get back on it, it, it kicks the kicks the tail out of the tractor engine. Makes sense given that that's the bit that's gonna start shredding the tires. I don't want to get too fast here. Cruise down to 80, give a bit of engine brake. Dip into this corner. Is that a police vehicle? Yes, it is. And I'm using the service brake and we just avoid the barrier. Okay. Another very short straight. I'm probably going to get a ticket from this guy because I'm blatantly going past him. Let's see. There we go. Yep, I figured. I mean, that is a fair cop, let's, let's face it. I go rattling past about over 90. Here we go. 1700 revs and 125 miles an hour. I bet you. When it's cruising, efficiency is not, you know, miles per gallon is, is improving. 2.1 to like 2.2 to the gallon now. But that's hardly efficient. I mean, hey, if I could, if I could manage 5 to the gallon, that would be much, whoa, much, much better. No faults found. Yeah, they forgot about the loose nut at the wheel. Dose is a it's more understeer than I can shake a fist at, and that's completely on me for just going too quickly into that corner. Losing all that speed costing me minutes. Still, five hours left in this drive, and 45 minutes before my end of my shift. So, let's see, right now it's got me getting there at 9 a.m., but that time's going to be coming down. Quite quickly, actually. So come back to that. We'll come back to that screen in just a little bit. Let's just um, keep the hammer down. Just let it cruise at 110. Hook around this corner and then back on the power. This is a pretty long straight. But there's somebody in my way. There, pull in, thank you, thank you. What I did there was very dangerous. He could so easily have cut in front of me and that would have been another pretty big wreck. And another um, hour or so added to the trip, I'm sure. Okay, I don't need to be going quite so quickly down, down here. It's quite a tight little corner. It's going to be daylight in just over two hours. And I want to be there by daylight. So four and a half hours left to go. According to my uh, predicted time of arrival. 
which is not based on my average speed. It's based on a, a speed that the game thinks that um, you're capable of, of achieving. But in this case, I'm going way quicker than that, you know, that average speed calculation. I think it's um, something like 45 miles an hour. It's not particularly high. My fuel, okay, three three quarters. Well, the truck stop. If it was on this side of the road, might be tempting, but I've still got plenty of low motion motion. And I'm cruising at 125. Let's push it faster. section here that's probably going to make me slow down. 143. 145, 46. Come on. 148. Come on. a little further. 149. Yes! 150. We did it. Okay. I am happy with that. I'm going to break, break, firmly break, 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 break. Okay. Got the body roll. Alright, so we know that this is a genuine 150 mile an hour capable truck. Briefly. But hey, briefly is, briefly is. Now after we reset, what's our uh, average speed at 104 miles an hour? Another speeding ticket. I was barely doing more than the speed limit. I still hit the sign. That's the university on the right hand side. Hello, university peeps. Did this wake you up? Whoopsie. Okay. Um, I 140 gallons, just over half a tank. It's saying a thousand miles. I don't think so. Nowhere near a thousand miles of range. Um, if I'm getting two miles per gallon, I've got 200 and something miles of range, and I have 155 miles to get there, so I shouldn't need to stop. Hopefully. Okay, let's actually get off the power into the adventure brake. Most of my exit's coming up. As is this truck, I can use the left lane though. There we go. Okay. Check 50% fuel yet, 130 gallons. Water is still fine. Oil's a little warm. Uh, my truck's a bit damaged, and we are revving the nuts off it. So you know, figures. Almost doing 140 again. Let's just cruise at 140 because we can. <laughs> I love these big wide open roads. Um, I think my old temperature might even drop if I'm keeping a fairly constant speed as well. I can hear that turbo whistling as we need a bit more power and then it slacks off again. 1900 revs, 140. Oh, it was a little wayward there. That's okay. So two hours and three according to the trip computer, but that's tracking down very, very quickly. I don't want to push it much faster if I actually want to, whoops, if I didn't mean to bang the mic, I want to drop the speed here for this, this corner. It looks pretty tight. There we go, okay. Isn't that most safer? Less traumatic for me, let's just put it that way. So a sweeping left hand corner. Let's kill my this thing's getting out of my way, Carl. Yep, I know we're tired. Oh, it's a truck. My bad. Nice long straight, so if we get up to 150, fantastic. I don't know that we'll be able to, but okay. Bit of wheel camera action, so this is a straight road. Ish, straight ish. Not that straight. 
another speeding ticket or a yep sleeping violation okay that's fine and we are cruising at nearly 150 we're not quite cruising doing 150 there we go okay I captured that view that's oh, no 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 Doug might be right there when he said I was going to hit something. Yep. But I was doing double the speed limit. And it was in the 75 limit, so... Uh, okay. Yes, I know I'm going too fast. I'm on my way to 150, Doug. Just relax. So how did I achieve this engine? Well, actually, I just took the 3406E. Um, the the 550 horsepower version and I decided I would give it a stonk, chunky dose of torque that sunrise is beautiful so we have the same shift points we have the same torque curve just a whole bunch more torque and then you gotta get the gearing to match as well well did some um, nap napkin uh, this is going to be interesting. Did some napkin mathematics, or math, as the Americans like to say. See if we can figure out um, what sort of gearing I needed to get 150. That, that was my target. Didn't think that that was realistic, to be fair. But it was. How many miles have I got left to go? Four. Okay. I'll not stop for fuel. Was this. A realistic trip? No. Was it fun? Yes. Is it a celebration of... <laughs> Sorry, SUV. Was it a celebration of 300 subscribers? Yes, I think it probably was. Would I want to try this with traffic at um, normal traffic rates? Probably not. I would have to... I'll be a lot slower. getting a little wayward but okay pitch in give it a little bit of break back on the power yeah it works better with an auto because the thing is constantly connected to the road but it's doing okay like this pretty much there okay to break a little break kind of early and it will wheel spins okay Alright. Gently pull in here. Here we are. Look at it gently. Give it full right lock. Okay. Alright. What did we do? So we covered 993 miles. That's a little, little less than what I hoped, which was a thousand miles, but I've been mean, okay. And we did uh, that in 10 hours and 40 minutes. So that is, it's not quite a hundred miles an hour average speed, but it's not far off it. Um, I would not be accomplishing that in a car. Mileage wise, well, we used a lot of fuel. Um, nearly two full tanks so that's about 2.3 2.2 to the gallon so but i didn't really but didn't suppose that this would be an efficient trip thanks so much everyone um if you subscribe to the channel i appreciate it um it's nice that people subscribe um and uh yeah if you want some some more videos like this of me driving like an absolute utter lunatic just comment below you want to try this in a more realistic truck again let me know down uh, in the comments below thanks so much for watching everyone have a great day i'll catch you in the next one goodbye